So suppose G with possibly relabeled vertices is a cycle, 1 to 2 to 3, and so on. The adjacency matrix for G will be... Notice this is a circulate matrix whose first row is 0, 1, a whole bunch of zeros, and then 1. Consequently, its eigenvalues will be r plus r to the n minus 1, where r is an nth root of unity. For example, let's try to find the eigenvalues for C4, the cycle with four elements. The adjacency matrix for C4 is... And so the eigenvalues will be r plus r cubed, where r is a fourth root of unity. The fourth roots of unity are going to be the solutions to z to the fourth equals 1. And so we can factor to get our first factor z minus 1 gives us a root r equals 1. If r equals 1, we obtain eigenvalue 1 plus 1 cubed 2, and the corresponding eigenvector will be the powers of 1 which are just our second factor, z plus 1, will give us the root r equals negative 1. If r equals negative 1, we obtain the eigenvalue negative 2, and the corresponding eigenvector will again be the powers of negative 1. Our third factor gives us the equation z squared plus 1 equals 0, and from this equation, we get solutions z equals plus or minus i. From z equals i, we obtain the eigenvalue i plus i cubed, 0, and the eigenvector, whose includes the powers of i. And finally, from z equals negative i, we obtain the eigenvalue 0, and another eigenvector. And this gives us four eigenvalues, 2, negative 2, 0, and 0, and four linearly independent eigenvectors. There's just one problem. The matrix is symmetric, so its eigenvalues and eigenvectors should be real, but they're not. And we can resolve this in one of two ways. The hard way, once we know that lambda equals zero is an eigenvalue, we can find the eigenvector in the traditional way. If we do that, we find that lambda equals zero corresponds to two linearly independent eigenvectors. But there's actually a much easier solution. Notice that if we split our eigenvectors for zero into the real and complex parts, our first eigenvector will be And our second eigenvector will be. And notice that both eigenvectors can be written as a linear combination of real vectors. So instead of using eigenvectors with complex components, we can use eigenvectors with real components as long as we allow for complex coefficients. And so a four linearly independent eigenvectors will be.